Hey guys, we're here for some Architects When We Were Young. I wonder if this is a Killer's cover. Yeah, I was thinking that. Oh, that would be interesting. I would actually be down for that. I would be down for that, yeah. I would be down for that, you know? So, uh, well, there's only one way to fucking find out. It's pressing play and, and going with it. Let's do it. Are you ready? Yeah. We haven't done Architects on the channel in a very long time. It's been a while, yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. All right, so let's fucking go with this. Motherfuckers talking like they're a bunch of geezers when we were young. What the fuck? You are young. What the fuck? When we were young, like what? Like five years ago? Get the fuck out of here. These youngsters. Ah, These when old, we were young. Those whippersnappers. Fuck. What are you, like fucking 45, 50? Even that is young. When I was young, I didn't think that was young. I thought that was like fucking old. But now that I'm that age, I'm like, fuck, that's young, man. When I hear somebody dying at the age of like 50, I'm like, fuck, they were young. Even 65. Now I don't I don't assume that somebody is old when they die until they're like in their 90s. 90, I'm like, fuck, they lived a long life. Anything like around 60 to 65, I'm like, fuck, they were young. I feel like I just start saying old when they pass the halfway mark. Over 50 for you as old? I think over... Yeah, over 50 for me. Yeah, I used to feel that way too. I think that's a little... The 50 is also like past the halfway mark. Yeah, for me... Because you're not living until 100. That's true, that's true. I always tell people I already live longer than what I have ahead of me. Exactly. So, 
I'm, I'm on the decline. You hit that at 35. Probably on 30, average. 35, that's 35, your 40, mark. I think that's your halfway, 30, between 35 and 40 is your halfway mark. Anyways, Architects, when we were young, definitely not a killer's cover. Definitely not. Dude, that's... Maybe unfortunately, maybe unfortunately. I mean, I would be... I think if there's a band out there that could cover the killers and do a bang-up job, definitely the Architects. Also, killers are from Britain. I don't know where they're from, but they're always in Las Vegas. I think they're from Britain. I, I don't know. I, I don't or maybe know. they're not. I, I don't know. I never checked their passport. Whatever. They look like... They look like they could be. They look like they could... Well, it doesn't matter. Like, uh, songs like Mr. Brightside were, were like... FIFA, not FIFA, but like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I know what you mean. I know. You know that, that actually, of, of uh, like a metalcore version of Mr. Brightside would actually probably be badass. Exactly. I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. They have they have catchy tunes. And I think you could really make some badass songs out of some of their tracks. But, so this wasn't one of those. It wasn't to be had. But Architects, nevertheless, what did you think? I enjoyed it. I, I mean, their, their whole spinning around thing, it's, you know, the hip. They're, they're the hip guys, you know, metalcore, the hip guys. Um... The, the whole spinning around, but I noticed the lead singer was always turning to wherever the camera was. He was, and he was stomping because he was angry. Because yeah, know, yeah, he's older now. Yeah, and the pandemic, they couldn't tour. You know what I mean? Like, you know, vaccines make your balls fall off. Whatever, all of that shit. That, yeah, you know, all of that shit. Um, but still a good song. I mean, these guys don't really crack out any shitters. They're always pulling out bangers. <laughs> Fuck! What a what, what a stretch of dialogue you got going on there. <laughs> Holy shit, I don't even know how to I don't even know how to process what you just said. What? It sounded badass. I mean I'm sure it could make a t-shirt someday, but fuck. It's like, oh, like that was that was that was a jolt to the senses, that sentence, that whole sentence there. I, I, I agree with the sentiment. I'm not sure I agree with it. I don't be, I, I'm not gonna say I agree with what you said, because to be honest with you, I don't even know if I got exactly what you said, but I said okay, I'll put it in no, no, layman's no. terms. Uh song. Good, no. These guys do, don't make bad songs. Okay, thank you. When thank they, you. you, they don't make bad song. They only make good song. No shitters. Okay, thank you, Tarzan. So, uh, I, I agree with you. When was the last time they put out a track that wasn't worth listening? Exactly. So they don't know how to do that. Or I think it's better to say, uh, when was the last time they put out a track that wasn't worth a second listen? Yeah, because first, all second, third, whatever. Exactly. Like the, the the playability of their music is undeniable. Exactly. So, uh, one thing surprised me, maybe not to you, but surprised me a little bit, is that, I, I don't know, I always feel like whenever they release a new track, that, you know, it's always a little bit more melancholic. At least it's been like that for the last couple of records. So this one, the aggression on this song kind of took me a little bit by surprise because it felt a little bit heavier and more aggressive than maybe what I was expecting Come, I was expecting this to be super dreary nah, dark you know, I, I, post pandemic everybody has the pandemic no, blues everybody's getting 10 uh, pounds cause um you know everybody's pounds, you yeah, everybody's been watching person. the Tiger King and jerking off to to Pornhub because they were giving it for free during the pandemic I mean there's all sorts of shit right so I thought it was gonna be like one of those like post pandemic blues kind of track like you know we suck, we feel bad for ourselves, you know what I mean? I don't like the way I look in the mirror when I look at myself. I'm disgusted, you know, like, whatever. No, it's the anger of being held up. But, which, I mean, that's kind of what it is, all, yeah, yeah. all the anger. But, uh, no, it's because, like, even even animals, uh, f from the last record, it Oh, had... I thought you were talking about, like, regular animals. I'm like, where is he going with this? No, no, no. Like, even <laughs> animals, when during the pandemic, they came out really angry. Like, I'm like, really? No, no, no. Like elephants stampeded in no, India or something? But like, yeah, but like uh, you know, even from that record, that song itself, it, it wasn't like, the, it was very melodic, don't get me wrong. But when it came to the chorus, that chorus was... I know, but this one just felt to me... one. This, this one, one just felt to me more heavy all the way through. It did, but it still gave me the heaviness energy that you got from that chorus. No, yeah, no, no, I, I'm not disagreeing with you. I just, I just I was expecting... I was expecting some some energy pushes in it, but I was expecting maybe to be a little bit more, more on the melodic side. Melodic, melancholic side. I don't know. For me, I don't really... When it comes to these guys that just listen, I don't really expect, you know, what they're going to do, how they're going to do it. I, I just know it's going to be good. I just expect it to be good. Yeah. That's how it is. So, it doesn't matter to me if they put out a track, you know, their first uh, single, single being more melodic or, you know, more heavy. Either way, as long as it's good, it's that's in 
all I need in my books. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't disagree. It's just that coming in, I was expecting something else. You know what I mean? The same thing that they've been going with. But yeah. it's always nice to switch. When we were young, it sounds like a very introspective kind of name of a song. Like, it does. You know, it, it sounds like it's going to be a video where you're sitting on a chair with a cognac in hand, reminiscing about the past when you... It just kind of has that more introspective feel to it. And that's kind of... Because of that, that was kind of what my expectation was. But the moment the song started, I'm like, fuck, whatever. This is fucking good. So it doesn't really matter once you get into it. It's just what you... The the, the idea that you come into the track before you press play. Once you press play, it's fucking Architects and the song bangs. So, and super energetic from start to finish. By the way, I love the guitar tone on this track. Yeah. Like, it had... It didn't have chunkiness. It didn't. It didn't have thickness to it, but it did have a. It did have bite, and it was a very consistent bite. It stayed there, like it, it went off on and off. But throughout the song, when you get to the end of the track, that guitar sound, that that guitar riff, is really going to stay in the mind of the listener. I, I feel like it, it's it's one of the things of everything that happened in this track. If there's one thing that you're going to walk away with in the back of your mind. Is that riff so that when you press play again and the song starts and that riff kicks in you're like yeah man this song yeah man let's fucking go i felt that way i don't know do you do you agree no? yeah, yeah, yeah i agree with I you i just thought it had a nice a nice little touch to it a very nice riff yeah and i like the video too the camera going around and whatever yeah, it's the hip thing you know i it could have been hipper if you get the camera and you go like this you face to the camera or you do a crotch shot. I think the crotch shot is beneath the architects. Though. I know it's beneath their. their yeah, I, I don't. I don't see the architect. It, it's totally not. It's totally not British to do the, the. Maybe it is. I mean, the Rolling Stones used to do that shit. They're British. Maybe not new wave of British metal. Yeah. You know, there was the old wave. Now this new wave. A, new anyhow, wave. architects are back the with some new music. The new wave. There's all sorts of waves. Yeah, we wave. You wave. We all wave. I mean, grab a surfboard. Get in line. <sighs> Don't be a howly. Okay. So. <laughs> Fuck, now that you said that, I have Chris Isaac Blue Hotel stuck in my head. <laughs> now you're going to watch North Shore. Yeah. You're going to watch Turtle in North Shore. Yeah. Fuck, what a great movie that is. I love that movie. It's a classic. It is a classic. With Mia Peoples. Yeah. She's uh, fucking, I mean, I don't know if she's hot now, but she was hot then. She was fucking hot. I remember when she was in Fame. Fame, I want to live forever. It was a TV show about like... Not, not famous people, but it was like a school, like a Juilliard. Yeah. And and the name of the show was Fame. And she was in it. She was fucking hot. But in that show, she's... All, not in that show, in that movie, she's also... She's the star of that movie. Well, obviously. Especially when she's doing the hula hula dance. The hula hula. Oh, fuck. With the coconuts? Fuck those coconuts. Okay. Not literally. I'm not, don't fuck the coconuts literally. But you know, you guys know what I'm saying. Anyways, Architects, when we were young, which was like five years ago... Uh, anything else you want to add? No, I think we're... Okay, we're good. All right, guys, let us know your thoughts on Architects, on this song. What about them covering some killers? That'd be a good one. Let, 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 let's, get that, let's get that ball rolling. Let's get that rolling. All right, see you guys at the next video. Take care. See ya.